At DocuSign, we offer a wide selection of field types with customizable field properties to support your workflow needs. In this video, we'll look at common recipient fields and how to use them. After you've added documents and recipients to your envelope, click Next to add and assign recipient fields. These fields direct each recipient where to sign or add additional information during the signing process. Start by selecting the recipient. Each recipient is assigned a color that matches the fields added to the envelope. Only recipients who need to take action on the agreement will be listed. Next, locate the fields to assign to the recipient. Some of the most commonly used fields are found in the Standard Fields tab. Depending on your account, you may also see other tabs including Custom Fields, Prefilled Tools, and more. Drag and drop the field to the desired location. You can easily reposition the field by dragging it to a new location or using the alignment tools in the Field Properties panel. You can also use the toolbar to quickly undo or redo an action, copy or paste a field, and adjust the viewable size. For some fields, including signature, initials, and date signed, you'll simply drag and drop them to the document. Other fields may require additional configuration. Name and email fields pre-populate with data used to address the recipient in the envelope. The full name of the recipient will be displayed by default, but you can adjust this from the Field Properties panel to show just the first name or last name. When you assign the company or title fields to a recipient, the data will pre-populate if the recipient's email address is associated with a DocuSign account that has this information disclosed. If not, the recipient can enter it manually. Text boxes can be used in multiple ways to request information. Most commonly, they're left blank and the recipient will manually enter the requested data. If you want to pre-fill text before sending, you can either add a standard text box and enter the text in the Field Properties panel, or use the Prefill Tools text box. The Prefill Tools option is most beneficial when you're working with templates because it will always require the sender to enter information before sending. Use the Number field to record numeric values with separators, or when you want to include currency values, a currency symbol, and the currency code. If these formatting options are not necessary, use a text field instead. The checkbox field can be added to your document as a single box or a group of multiple boxes. If multiple boxes are added, you can set a validation rule to enforce how many boxes a signer can or must select. Under checkbox values, you can enter optional values that are shown to signers and included in the envelope data. You can also pre-select the checkbox for the recipient. The recipient can uncheck the box when they sign or leave it selected. Use the drop-down field to provide a list of options for your signer to choose from. After you add the drop-down field, click Edit Values to enter the list items. You can then choose if you want a default option selected. Use the Radio button field when you want your signer to choose only one selection from a group of options. After you add the default radio group of two, click the plus sign to add additional buttons. Then, under Radio Button Values, enter the Radio Button options to display to your signer. Once you've finished adding fields, use the Preview option to ensure your fields are set up correctly before sending the envelope. 